Hey guys, welcome back in this iCAD video tutorial. Now we are going to see how you can set a camera for project animation in iCAD. But before I start, remember to like, share and subscribe on this channel because it's a huge motivation to me to make more educational video like this. Hope you enjoy. As you can see, I have a layout plan as this is a basement. This is a ground floor with some several different looms. And also this is the first floor with a swimming pool and we have a paint house on the loft top of the house. Let's back on the ground floor and show all in 3D. This is the perspective. This is how this house looks like. This is the Leo side or the back side of the house and rooftop we have. On the paint house there is a swimming pool and also this house have a, a basement, ground floor, first floor and paint house on the rooftop of the house. As you can see we have a full 3D model display. So what we are going to do we are going to see how we can set a camera for us to make an animation of this house. Let's start by this angle, this position of the house, back on the ground floor and then come in the toolbox in more and then we check for the camera tool. Here in the toolbox is where I can just see some different uh, specifications on settings but when you want to enter in the settings you click double click as you can see we have a height of 8000 millimeter it means it is 8 meter height click apply to set our camera on the ground we are going to see in 3d how our camera looks like on the exterior look of the house we open camera the name is camera one and then we open bring to front in so this is how our camera is set on so as you can see the whole building is not fit in the camera what we do is just we are going to fit well the house So in order to fit well the house in the 3D display, you can use some different shortcuts. When you want to go forward, you use W. When you want to go backward, you use S. Lateral move left, you use A. Lateral move right, you use D. Go up, you use space. If you want to go down, you use C. And fly mode is F. When you want to speed up, you see, click shift and then you add another if it is W for forward, if it is S for backward, if it is A for left or D for right, that's what you can use for you to see to make some different modifications on the camera position. And also finally we are going to see how you can move your 3D after doing the explore, how you can move your 3D in order to set your 3d model in a way in a well position so that you can see each and every angle or each and every side of the house after doing that you come on the camera one and then do what we call modify so we are going to just increase the number of the camera so that we can create a path of an animation as you create the second camera you see they already get connected all it means this line which connect those cameras it is the line of a, a path this is where the camera will be pressing by surrounding the house by animating your video you come in window tool open a toolbar 
and then click on the 3D visualization. And then click here to start your animation, your servers, you provide the location and the folder where you want your video to be saved. So now our video is almost finished. Now what we are going to do, we are going to find that folder where our location was provided and open the video to see how the animation is. But you can provide more camera set according to the fly that you want to do you can also do the interior movement you can do the IR move movement it all depends on what you want to show in the video but this was the video to show you how you can say it and how you can provide the position of the camera and how you can just make an animation by using ACAD as you can see that we landed is already done this is the movement that we provided by setting dot cameras and also you can do your own video by providing the different angle increasing the number of the camera you can also go inside the house so let's back in the 2d on the ground floor this is the parking area and also let's see this was the first camera position and I, I just wanted to, to show you all to share you some different shortcuts that have been used there is some different shortcut that I have used uh, for me to 
provide a set of the camera. I use the following shortcut during the 3DX Pro. Look around by moving mouse. Walk forward is a allow up and W. Walk backward, allow down and ace. Rotor move left, left arrow, A. Rotor move light to right, D, and go up. Pick space to see. These are some different shortcuts that you can check. It's better to just memorize them for you to be quick uh, in your design because shortcuts are more helpful and also they save time. Yeah, so let's see some different 2D or oh, 2D layout plan of this project. What we are going to do, we are going to, to go in the, the this is how you can make a site plan by showing the setbacks of the house or the site. Like this is an access load, this is um, an access load, the entrance closing road area, this is the parking area, and also there is some um, the entrance ruby. There is second entrance because this house is uh, a house which have to receive more than two families. It means that they have some different entrance area. As we have seen, we have a basement, ground floor, first floor, and a ruby house. So let's check on the basement. Also, the basement. This is the basement. And also, this is the ground floor with a packing of five cults. The one is in outside and the other one is on shelter. This is the first floor which has a swing, swimming pool on the top and also rooftop level where we have a paint house. There is a prayer loom and the water tank area. So let's jump on the elevations where we have a front side elevation and a back side elevation. This is the left side view, so the side view, the left side and the right side elevations of our house with the dimensions and it's more closure to provide the Finally, what I can add on is that it's more useful to use grid lines because it shows the relationship between the flows and it helps you to determine the efficient position and location of the beams, columns and the footings in the building. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment if there is something you need to see in the next videos. Thank you.